happy Saturday and you're falling. It's time to get a new one of these phone holders. But uh, I hate when big trucks are behind me while I'm filming. The only problem with getting a new one is this one is glued to my actual dashboard. Um, I didn't think it all the way through the whole installation. Uh, I was supposed to put something, there was a suction-y part, and then I was supposed to glue this part to the suction-y part, but um, I neglected to pay attention to the instructions, and I just put the gluey part on my dash. So, um, I don't know if ripping the dash is going to affect the retail, the resale value of my car. Um, you know, I think the cars should come with a phone holder anyway. Today we are going to the thrift store. Don't tell Mark. We're going to the thrift store because I'm making my sister a uh, Christmas book. A Christmas book for her Christmas shopping and Black Friday and her Christmas dinner that she makes. It's a big book to keep all that stuff in one book. And I already messed up. I made it too big uh, with too many pages and it's not really that durable. Um, I tied the pages in with yarn so I can just untie the pages, the signatures, and put them in a more durable, because I have, I have actual physical cardboard um, <clears throat> things that I can use as boxes. You know the, when you get new sheets, they come with the cardboard that they're wrapped around. Well, if you look at that, gosh, everybody here has a Vegas Golden Knight sticker on their car, except for me. I'm the only one. Yeah, those are perfect for books if you look at them. But my whole point in going to the thrift store today and coming on here to tell you that I'm going to the thrift store today, which I have not been to a thrift store in since before we moved, since March. So probably since February. Pro The sun doesn't help this either. The heat, the heat um, softens the plastic and the plastic doesn't want to hold. So welcome to Las Vegas. So I am out of Christmas ephemera. And uh, I'm using up the last of my Christmas stickers for this big giant book that I'm gonna decompose, no. Uh, deconstruct. So I think, yeah, I think I've made up my mind. I'm going to deconstruct it and put it in a smaller book. We got uh, Marc Andre Fleury for another three years. Yay! If I don't find what I want, I want some more papers. I want more Christmas ephemera. I don't like Christmas at all. It does nothing for me, it just costs a lot of money. Um, so, God, I smell so good. I smell so good, guys. Um, I have this Bath and Body Works lemon, I think it's called Sunshine Lotion. So good. One of the ladies at work got it for me for Christmas last year. Speaking of Christmas, it's meant to be. Jumping back to the thrift store. I haven't been there since February, since Mark put me on the thrift store ban. So uh, my lie to get out of the house without him today was I'm going to Michael's. So if, I'll go to Michael's anyway, but if I don't find anything at my Deseret Industries, then I will go to Michael's and spend all of my crafting money there. I don't know, I don't really have a budget. And I don't know where my voice is going. Um, ah, oh, I'm passing a Hobby Lobby. I don't like Hobby Lobby. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. 
bag is overpriced. There's nothing fancy there that I would need to go there for that I can't find at a thrift store for 75 cents instead of paying $38. They're like ridiculous with their prices. And uh, that's exactly why I don't shop at Target. It's Walmart crap, but at Target prices. And uh, it's not, not anything, any prices I was shooting for. Get it? Shooting? Target? Anyone? Bueller? I just finished Errant Gods by Eric Henry Vick. Errant Gods is book one in the ISIR, I-S-I-R, uh, ISIR Blood series. ISIR is a race of people. And, uh, it is so, it was so awesome and epic that I immediately started book number two, Room, the Room, Room of Rooms, Ruins, Room of Rooms, I think. And, uh, so I'm on book two. And I'm very excited about that. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get out of here without anybody hitting me. Oh, coast is clear. Let's see if I can make it without hitting anybody else. Okay. This trip was a success. I got so many tons, well one ton, a ton is a lot, of Christmas ephemera. Keep in mind, it is July 28th. Yeah. So uh, I got a ton. Because nobody else is looking for it, and it's out, and you fell again. Stop falling. I think I might celebrate by going to Michael's. Because this is a win for me. It's a win. And I'm on the side of town. I'm in North Las Vegas right now. I don't live here anymore. I live 20 minutes away. So now that I'm on this side of town, I can go to my Michael's that I love so much. Um, I need to do a Tasty Baxies. I do not dislike the Michaels by my new house. Um, it's just different. And uh, I like it now. But I know my Michaels better. I don't know. You know what? In the spirit of liking my new Michaels and winning at thrifting today, I'm gonna go to my new Michaels. So everything I bought, you will be very surprised. Everything I bought at Deseret Industries, the thrift store today, my total is $20 and like 15 cents or 40 cents. So, I'm very excited to show you what I got for $20. Uh, yes. Well, I'm gonna go now so I can figure out where uh, where the freeway is, because I forgot again. I had some um, strawberry in cheat <laughs> You're way over there now. Um, I had some strawberry, I'm gonna try to fix you without you falling. Don't fall. Strawberries and cheese for breakfast this morning. I'm trying to lose weight. And yeah, people say I'm skinny, but I have a spare tire for like, it's for a semi truck. I have a semi truck spare tire. Mark is buying a second bike, bicycle. Remember when I told you guys that last time we had a thunderstorm, he rode his bike out in the storm? and uh, fell. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Well, um, he's buying a second bike. He has a mountain bike, so now he's buying a street bike, like a 10 speed. So we'll see how that goes. He's really, really into it. He wants a bike room. 
He was trying to use my craft room as a bike room and no thanks. Okay, I have decided on my drive home. I almost missed the freeway, by the way, because I don't know this area. I have decided that I'm just going to take my win and go home. very slow might I add and now that truck has gotten off the freeway with me at a weird spot I didn't know I was gonna go to the library I'm going to the library I don't know why I need to go to a library right now because um, it's fall and I love to go to the library in the fall I don't know but why is it saying it's the YMCA now no no I think the library is next to the YMCA well, they have a water slide at the YMCA. <gasps> what? Where is my library? Okay, I see it. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, yeah, during the fall, I feel like I need to go into a library for some reason. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I wanna go to the library where I grew up, but this one will do for now because I, I feel the tug the pull of the library right now so I'm going with it it's so weird I don't even have a library card <laughs> whoop whoop <laughs> uh, oh I was gonna say remember back in the day when I came here and took writing classes from Alexander Drake the author um, he teaches free writing classes here um, but I wasn't vlogging at that time in my life. So that's weird. That's weird. So I'm just gonna go do this now. I don't know what I'm here for. I have no idea. So I'll see you later, bye. I just went to the library. The library! I walked into the library and the first room in the library is a room of stuff for sale. So I was able to get some magazines that I don't normally have access to without a subscription. Like National Geographic, one of my all time favorite magazines in the whole wide world. They had a whole rack of them and they were only 50 cents each. Regular magazines were 10 cents each. So I got a little of this and a little of that. The books were 50 cents each. My total, um, I don't know how to get back onto the freeway. I'm not even paying attention. My total, $2.20. Am I gonna get myself killed? Uh, one of the books I got, I bought by accident. It looks like a really good book by Terry Pratchett. I like Terry Pratchett, but it turns out it's number three in a series. And uh, I don't know, I've never heard of one and two but I bought it based on the cover. <laughs> I was like, I judged it by its cover. So I guess that's why they tell you not to do that. Guess what guys, I have all day. So if I'm going the wrong way on the freeway, um, not the wrong way, like I'm gonna die the wrong way. Uh, the wrong way as in going east instead of west. Um, we have all day. So it was a, it was a really good, I, oh, I spoke with a, a real librarian, a real one, um, two real ones, and they were both on their way out to retirement. So they both said they love being a librarian and, uh, the one lady said, well, what do you think a librarian does? And I said, help people find books. And she's like, well, it's a little bit more than that now. Like, well, that sounds terrible. What is it? And just like, you have to. Uh, the library is going tech. So you can log on to the library and you can read any book in the library because we upload everything. We scan and upload everything into the computer. So there's that. Every time a book comes in, you gotta scan it in. 
and the audio books and all that, which I didn't even think of, you guys. You guys, you guys, if you go to your library website and get a library card, you get free audio books? Are you kidding me? I, that didn't even occur to me in my life. So, um, I am so hungry. Wow, it's almost noon. I've been gone for two hours. That's awesome. That was two hours I was not sitting on my recliner, as Mark pointed out, annoys him. Um, I also, okay, there's this weird thing I do where when I go shopping, I'm not satisfied until I spend $100. I'm looking at my home button. trying to spend a hundred dollars so today I spent a total with tax twenty three dollars and you will see the amount of stuff I got it's gonna be a good day tater I was gonna say wish me luck that Mark isn't home but he's literally pulling out of the driveway right now as I'm pulling in so this is great he'll never see what I bought today okay did you buy your bike What'd you get? A 10 speed? Oh, you were returning up to say 10 speed. <laughs> what are it's they called? Bike, except, you know, it's neat. It's turquoise. It's called a Bianchi. You know Bianchi bikes? You might. No, I do know a girl named Bianca. It's a Bianchi. Oh. It's nice. My bike, my bike, I left there. So I had no choice. So now you give me no choice but to buy a bike. My mountain bike, they have to look at the, the fork, something screwed up on it, and they think they'll warranty and put a new fork on it. Oh, the good. shock, when you turn the shock off, it still works, and it's not supposed to do that. Oh. I am going, I just got home like five minutes ago. The guy's in the, up in this tree in the backyard cutting, like way up in there, dude. Okay. So they're only the dogs when they bark at him. I just talked to him, he's super, super, super nice. So he was just shy before? Yeah, he's super nice. I talked to him while he's way up in the tree. Because he had no choice to talk to you. He had nowhere to go. He get away. <laughs> Are you sure? There's, is there a woman here living with him? Yeah. I've never seen her. I've heard her tell Ruger to shut up many times. He's way up in the tree. I'm gonna I'll keep an eye on him in case he falls. I'm going to take the packaging that says Bianchi and I'm going to change it for Bianca. For her card. There's no packaging. There's gonna be something that comes off well, it that says Bianchi. Like owner's manual either. It's an Italian made bike. Well you can look it up online, Mark. Everything's online. I stopped at a library. Everything's going online. Obsol um when you get your master's degree to become a librarian, it starts at fifty fifty seven thousand dollars the pay starts. Yeah, and to it, be a it cost about a hundred and fifty thousand for your master's degree. No. Yeah, it does. That's for, like, medical school. No, it's not. You have to go to four years of college first, and then it takes two more years to get your master's. You have to do school six years. Well, she said there are tons of other things I could do if I don't want to be a full-fledged librarian. You could be a librarian's assistant. Um, you can volunteer on certain days. I mean, there are tons of things I could do at a library without having to be a full-fledged librarian. They have a position called a page. Here, where, where'd you go? The library. What one? The one up here on Buffalo. There's a library up here? You went to the public library? Yeah. Oh. You have a library no, card? the strip club. You have a, pub, a library card? No, but I'm going to get one. Did you know that um, online on the at the library, you can uh, download movies for free with your library card. Uh, download audiobooks. I can listen to books in my car you know for free. Red movies. You used to know red movies, DVDs, and VHSs. They were free. Yeah, they, that's what I'm telling you right now. Now you can do it online. You don't even have to go there. Netflix. So? So you can do it now. I can't get audiobooks now for free. Audiobooks start at $36 on Kindle. All right, well, I'm sweating my balls off. So have a... I go to the gym and the Okay, I love you, bye. Love you, bye. Well, 
I sure am glad that he didn't ask to see what I got because then he'd see this. <laughs> the bags and bags. I've yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's go show you what I got. I am uh, preparing. I don't know why I'm moving stuff from this counter to this counter to show you stuff. I'm just gonna keep doing it. Let's start at Walgreens. On my ride home, I stopped at Walgreens and I got some Juicy Fruit Gum, Hubba Bubba Raspberry Crush Bubble Gum. I think it's raspberry. Strawberry, <gasps> ooh, even better. And Hubba Bubba Strawberry Watermelon Bubble Gum. All right, because they didn't have the candy that I was hoping I would get. All right, so I went to the library and I got Princess Bride, the original book. Uh, I did not know that it was a book. I just thought it was a movie. And uh, the author is William Goldman. And, oh, and there's a sequel to it. Did you guys know that there's a sequel to it? Called Buttercup's Baby? Oh my gosh. So I'm actually going to read this in real life. So I'll let you know if it's the same as the movie. This is a cherry, the cherry, the Terry Pratchett book. Uh, it's a sequel. Okay, so this is number three. So I'm gonna have to go on Kindle and find number one and two. Okay. These are, these are not episodes. Gosh. Issues, issues of the National Geographic that I've always wanted but they're like $15 in the store. How much are they in the store? They are a bazillion dollars. It doesn't say. But yeah, they're like $15 at, at Smith's, at your local grocery. So I got the Pope Francis, even though every time, gosh, I got it for the, I'll, I'll read the article about whatever subject matter I got. Look at that. It's a timeline of saints. I have, do I still have it? I have an encyclopedia of saints. Look at him, Pope Francis when he was a young lad. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. I love him so much. So um, I got it for the images as well as the subject. So I am a huge, huge fan of Mary. So um, I got, the issue of her. I love her. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. New York. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got this for Mary. <laughs> I didn't get it for New York. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is a breathtaking photograph of New York City. Is that New York City? <laughs> is, it, is it even New York City? I don't even know. Uh, ooh, the science of delicious. What makes things taste delicious? Or what makes us think it's delicious? Oh, I love Mary. I love her. And I got, in the spirit of going to Rome, Italy, uh, I got Nero. I went to a club in uh, Lake Tahoe at Caesar's Palace. Uh, called Nero's. Oh, she is eating, or he. Okay, you guys, you guys check this out. There is a B on her forehead. Can you see that? It's a B. It's not a fly. It is a B on her floor, on her forehead, because she is eating, or he. Gosh, I'm so confused and conflicted. Uh, a whole honeycomb. Yeah, there's bees everywhere. Wow, who does that? Why, why do you eat, eat their house right in front of their face? That's rude. That is rude. There's National Geographic for kids. I did not know that. So, whoa. So, I will have some awesome um, anything with Uncle Sam on it. My nephew is a big, huge 
USA. Now, keep in mind that these, this was only 10 cents. So that's why I could buy it for the cover. And a picture of a bomber jacket. Hell yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Picture of the world. Picture of some Omaha's, Omaha steaks. Uh, that's about it. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this magazine is called. It's called Locus. But um, I got it because there was a book on the back. <laughs> Um, it says it's the magazine of science fiction and fantasy field. So, okay, so it's a book of books. It's a magazine of books. Ooh, okay. It is, okay, so it does all the new science fiction books that come out. This is the book and author's. And oh my gosh, I wonder if they have, see that's cool, this is a cool book, cool magazine, I don't even know what I'm looking at, I wonder if they have um, Eric Henry Vick, alright well I guess I'll, oh and I also love the Smithsonian, so I thought that was a really cool picture, and it's called Saving Pompeii, and the picture on the back is also stunning, even though it's an ad for a car. Um, yeah, they, I got, look at that. Just random, beautiful pictures. Turn of the Mockingbird, I don't know what that means. Look at her face, look at her face. Oh my gosh. Uh, I got People Magazine, I don't have any, um, I was going to say late model. Oh my gosh. Um, pictures. Any pop culture pictures? I have nothing. I don't think that I'm going to ever want anything in here. Um, I mean, I could use that picture. I love those. I love pink, but I don't think I'm going to make anything a book of pink. I don't like any of the Kardashians. Ew. Maybe I could make an Aunt Loey Lane. Oh my gosh. Nuh uh. What? YouTube's own Loey Lane is in People Magazine. Wow, I bet she's proud of that. I don't watch her channel. But, uh, Team Internet. That is an adorable picture of Pink and her daughter. Oh my gosh. I wonder if her kids know that she's like that. It's so, oh, so adorable. Oh, did you guys know that Courtney Cox has a daughter? Fuck. Oh my gosh. Amy Schumer, ew. Julia Roberts, no thank you. Meghan Markle, ew. I don't like any of it. Jennifer Lopez, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. I don't like her, but she's so pretty. Oh. That is a really cool picture. I don't know who that lady is, but her and her dog are really pretty. So I'll be using and this uh, I picked up for my sister's Christmas book. Um, she's got pictures of Christmas in it. Maybe I'll make her Christmas book out of this book. Oh, it's not really that Christmassy now that I look at it. Well, I, I guess it kind of is. There's a Christmas picture. A uh, horrible Santa Claus. Oh, pretty Christmas trees. I can do that. Pretty. Nice, nice paper stock. Nice. All right. Okay. On to, I should clean this up first. You know what, I'm gonna run these to the back in case Mark comes home so he'll only see 
the pile over there instead of this pile here too. Hang on. Okay, this is a lot of stuff I got. A lot of stuff. It's all paper products because I have enough knickknacks and statues that uh, are ridiculous. So this whole trip was $20 at the thrift store. The thrift store, Desiree Industries. All right, let's do this. I got two of these, they were 50 cents each. Um, USA and the World Globe or Flat Earth. Uh, Christmas stationery, um, a dollar. A wreck this journal, a dollar. These are like $10, 10 or 20 bucks at, um, at Michael's. Um, if you go to Graveyard Girl's YouTube channel, she does a Wreck, it, wreck This Journal um, along with her subscribers. So this was a dollar. This for inside the Christmas book, 50 cents. Three little pads. For me, for my Halloween journal, um, I wonder how much he charged me. I don't know, probably 25 cents. Uh, some ribbon, 75 cents for the whole unopened roll. They had stacks of these. That was just too adorable not to get. That was 75 cents, just note cards and envelopes. Uh, 50 cents for a roll of Christmas tags. Cuties. Cuties, uh, more notebooks. There were stacks and stacks of these too, 75 cents each. So there are three, it's a three pack. More Christmas ribbon, uh, 75 cents. That says $1.50, but it was really 75 cents. Do, do, do. Cute little ribbons. It's not a whole pack, but it was 50, 50, five zero cents. Christmas bags, uh, 50 cents. Place cards. My sister hosts our Christmas dinner, so she can have, there are 48 place cards here for 50 cents. Tinsel, I'm gonna use tinsel. Uh, this was 50 cents, even though it's cheaper than that at Christmas time at Walmart. Okay, now these, like, now we're getting to the best of the best. Christmas Golden Books. Frosty the Snowman. These are for me to rip apart, 50 cents each. So it turns out that the cheapest things you can get at the thrift store now are 50 cents instead of 30 cents. So. No. I wonder if that's the full book. It doesn't feel like a lot of pages. Um, I'm not, I'm really not sure if that's the whole book. Remember, I love golden books. This, Santa's surprise book, look at that. Ooh, this one is old. 1966, oh, this is the fourth printing. 1974, the year I was born. Look at that. I might have to, uh, I'm gonna do, I don't know who I saw do it, but she um, separated the top the front and the back from the inside and made it uh, made it gave it a big spine and added stuff into it so it was it retained the exact book but there were like paper things in it like to make a journal out of it instead of um, destroying the book but destroying it to add into it instead of taking away ABC's for Christmas ABC is for Christmas Wow, look at the pictures in that. 
Oh, this is gonna be fun. Beautiful. The A is for angels. Oh. Another Frosty the Snowman. Ooh, I don't like this guy. He looks evil. Um, the same, it's the same ending. Okay. Look at the imagery. Wow. So, let me look. So these are two Frosty the Snowman. It is word for word, space by space, the exact story. Look at that. Exact, word for word. Even where it leaves off on the end of the page. Huh. Uh, that is, uh, yeah. And even the last page is the same. I don't know about, um, spoiler alert. He will. And he will. Oh. I like this Frosty better than this Frosty. So, I would be more inclined to rip this apart and cut it out and use it. And I would be more inclined to take this apart and keep it together and just add to it. Uh, my Christmas treasury, this used to be 80 cents and I bought it for 30 cents off, probably 30 years later for 50 cents. Um, oh, that is cute. They're reading a book of this book. <laughs> oh, ooh, look at look at that creepy Santa right there peeking through the window like a weirdo. And they got they have a dog and a cat. Wow. Woo woo. Oh, even even rabbits have Christmas. Then uh, this is a well loved dollar fifty thirty six double sided sheets. Christmas. Um, it has been used, so someone, it looks like someone used it once. Someone used it once and didn't want to use, use it again, so I should have, theoretically. Um, wow, they are. That. So those are tags and tags. Stockings, wow, those are really pretty colors. Back is beautiful too. Christmas words. The back is just striped green. Pretty trees. Like all these Christmas books are the same, just different colors, like brighter colors, but it's all the same pictures. No matter what you get, you'll see what I mean when I show you my sister's Christmas book that I'm you making. Oh, look at that. A bunch of words. Beautiful colors. And words. Okay. All right. $1.50. And then, ooh, this is a full book. $1.50. One sided. Ooh, I see foil. Kind of foil. That's pretty. And scrap pad, the dollar fifty at Roberts. It was seven ninety nine again. More beautiful paper. See, this is what you get. Oh, this hasn't even been open yet. Oh, there are two pages each of 12 different designs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love it. Yes. Slay me. And then, because I don't have enough stickers in my life. Gosh, Mark would get so mad. 
I don't know where, like, seriously, I don't know where I'm gonna put any of this stuff. I have no more drawers. I have no more bins. I have nothing. I have nowhere to stick this stuff to, to hide it. <laughs> Maybe I'll hide it in my dresser in my room. Okay, there are so many stickers in here. I'm gonna have to do a separate sticker haul. Uh, because I think I'm running out of time and I have to put this, find a spot for all this stuff and uh, start recording my, my uh, deconstruction of my sister's Christmas book so I can reconstruct a different, better book. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful everything and perhaps I will see you on another day or right now because I'm going to record another video. <laughs> okay, bye.